Hello there, all elites. How's it going? It's me, your guy Waddles, and welcome back to the Minecraft Guide. Hope you're doing well today. Happy holidays. So, it's a really big day uh, for two big reasons. Reason one, we've got a crazy busy episode. We're going to make a giant step in this series that I I've seen you guys asking me to make already. And then reason two... Uh, it's, a, it's a special day in, in my life, which is really, really exciting. And to celebrate, I think it would be really cool to craft maybe uh, the, the best food in, in Minecraft. Well, yeah, I don't know about that. Definitely the most expensive food in Minecraft. Take a look at a... <laughs> uh, something's wrong here. Take a look at this. This is the cake right here. Super expensive to make as you saw the ingredients and is it good? Well, actually, probably not, but it's my birthday, so why not? We'll make a cake today to celebrate. I, I turned 23 today, which is super exciting, so I thought we would celebrate with a cake. Now, cakes were added as a joke way, way, way back in 2010. Notch, the original developer of Minecraft, stated that if Minecraft won the 2010 Indie Game of the Year award, then cake would be added, and sure enough, that happened, so cake made its way into the game. Now, before there was an actual hunger bar, cake was actually kind of useful. You could restore a lot of health really quickly with the cake, but ever since the hunger bar was added, the cake became pretty much useless other than for special celebrations like today. So that'll live there. We can't move it. We can't self touch it. So it's stuck there forever as a celebration. And I, I guess to... To kind of mark the, I guess, the sixth episode of the series, if if you can consider that a milestone. Now, today we are going to make some serious leaps when it comes to our food situation. By the end of the episode, we'll be eating beef, which is pretty much actually the best food in the game. Not, not cake at all. Now, to eat beef, we'll have to farm cows. And this thing, what I'm about to show you, is really the best cow farm in the game. And it's so, so easy to make. So, uh, a few episodes back, we trapped a cow right here, and then I think, yeah, yeah, that should be another cow trapped over there, and then I actually, in between episodes, trapped a sheep over there. So, we're gonna first go back over to where I want to build the cow farm, and set up a temporary holding pen, so we can move our animals over here, then get to the build. Now, the build today is known as a cow crusher. Now, big unfortunate here, big, big unfortunate, but... Uh, they don't work too great on Bedrock Edition. So if you're a Bedrock player, I'm sorry. I'll leave a card on screen to a cow farm that I did design. It, it'll work. It's it's not as easy to build, but it'll definitely work. So yeah, this is kind of one of those Java exclusive things. I don't know why they don't work on Bedrock. The mechanics are all pretty much the same on that version, at least when it comes to this farm. But yeah, they just don't seem to work. Mobs seem to be thrown out of them for some odd reason. I Again, I have no clue, but... Yeah, I I don't know. So if you're on Bedrock, maybe don't build this one. So temporary holding pen. Boom, we're good. Now to move the animals in. I'm going to do this one by one so it's easiest. And we're going to start with the sheep, which lives way over there. Actually kind of close to the outpost. A, a, a little scary, but we should be good. And by the way, I don't know how... Um, I, I missed this ravine in the beginning of the series. I saw a lot of you guys talking about it. No, I was not intentionally ignoring it. I literally didn't see it. And that, that's the mine shaft that we found in the last episode. So pretty crazy. We're definitely going to have to go down there and check that thing out. But anyways, the sheep. Ah, so here we go. Sheep number one out of, I think, one here, honestly. You, buddy, you get to come with us to a brand new home. We're not going to farm the sheep today, but... We're, we're definitely just going to move him closer to, to our base because, I mean, why not? And, hey, I mean, there's a cow over here, too. We might as well. I mean, I guess why not? We'll get two birds with one stone. Two down, one to go. Okay, so we've got all the mobs in the pen. What I'd like to do is keep at least two cows outside of this farm. Once we start putting mobs inside of whatever we're going to build, you can't get them out. So if you want mobs outside of it, definitely plan for that. So I'll breed these cows up another time until we have four in here, and then eventually we'll move to into the farm. Now, our build is going to sit right over here. I did clear this land out before the episode. I think it would look really nice right next to our uh, our giant wheat field then the bees they seem to be doing their job really well so I'm gonna have to go in here and harvest the honeycombs at some point and the whole field because yeah it's pretty much ready um 
this is going to be a lot of wheat. Uh, yeah, that's really good. All right, so now that we're ready to do the build, we should probably go over the materials. Now, this thing is known as a cow crusher, but it could also be called an entity grammar or a bunch of other different things. To build this thing, you'll need one fence, one hopper, one chest, one water bucket, one stair, seven building blocks, and then some mobs. So in our case, we're using cows, so we need cows in your case. Uh, you could use sheep or, or pigs, but I definitely most recommend using cows. Uh, if you if you decide to put cows on the thing, you'll get beef, which is like the best food in the game, and you'll get leather, which is crazy useful for other things like enchanting. So maybe go with cows, but I guess you don't have to. So today we'll be building this farm inside of a barn. The front of the barn will face this way. The side will look over at the wheat field, and yeah, the other sides are over there. Now I'd like this crusher farm to be centered right in the middle near the back of this thing. So I think we'll start by digging down here. Uh, that that should be good. This is the center of the bag. That's what uh, all of this marking stuff is. But yeah, I, I think that'll be good. So start by digging two blocks down into the ground and then placing a hopper going into, I guess what would be the front side. Then dig those two front blocks out and place a chest in front of that hopper. After that, place an upside down staircase right above the chest and then break another block out so you can actually see the chest. After that, go on all of the other sides and place whatever permanent building block you'd like. So we're gonna do uh, these um, blanks and then do it again. So you have something that looks like this, a two deep pit with a hopper at the bottom. Now, one block above the bottom, place a water bucket just like that and then boom, you're actually pretty much done with the whole build. It's literally that easy. The last step is to go and find some mobs and move them into it and then place a fence right in the center above the thing. Our mobs have already been found. They're waiting over here for us. The only challenge is going to be getting the right ones out. Mr. Sheep, you, you're not really wanted today. Hey, hey uh, okay. One at a time, please. One, okay, yeah, 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 the baby's good. Okay, so get the mob to follow you over to your crusher and then jump up on top of it and then wait for the mob to do the same. Now with the wheat in your hand still, move around the, the mob and push it in. But if you're doing it with a baby, remember the babies uh, kind of want to be by their parents, so they might try and walk over to the parents which could be annoying a little bit difficult but nudge the mob into the hole and boom you're good to go do it one more time and then that's it so one of you guys you yes you're the you're the one thank you very much for for being cooperative this time oh wait oh wait hold on hold on hold on this would have been bad we need we need you to go back in here for just a second i definitely want to have two uh, mobs over here sheep no not you all right one at a time again one one at it yes yes one at a time thank you okay so you guys are staying there you're coming with me over to the crusher now sometimes it can be a little difficult to get the second mob inside of this thing because the first mob will probably be bouncing around and will maybe bump into the guy that you're trying to push in next so just be patient, uh, it could take some time, but boom, there you go. Now, I think we'd like to put a fence on top, but this time we're gonna switch it up. Instead of a fence, we'll do some wall blocks. Walls would work fine too, uh, it's really the same thing. This is basically to hold mobs inside of the thing and keep them from jumping too high. Now, since we have a baby inside of this thing, we kind of need to wait. We can't start breeding them because the baby needs to grow up first. Of course, that's how Minecraft works. So that means it's time to switch over to the build. Now, uh, as I mentioned, I want to turn this into a barn. This barn will be a long barn, but uh, it'll also be a thin barn. I don't want the build to be too big, but I definitely don't want the build to be tiny. I do have an idea as to what I want to do this time around too, which is uh, a big yay. So oak, cobblestone, and then oak planks are going to be the majority of the build. Then we'll do the roof, just like we did over there with probably some cobblestone edges and then birch in the middle because that's kind of all we have right now we still definitely need to go on an adventure soon and find like a bunch of good trees uh, no offense well offense intended acacia tree i'm sorry uh, i know they're all over there but i really just don't i don't like uh, acacia wood that much at least early on like purper and acacia that can look pretty cool acacia and like 
terracotta certain colors at least so that can look pretty cool but yeah that's all that's all um stuff we don't have right now so yeah we're gonna stick with these blocks now on the front we'll do something like that we'll have a big open door that actually won't close and then on the sides uh windows i like a lot of windows in my build so um hmm we could do like two wide windows right and then maybe we do like staircases on the top of them so i guess they'll end up being three high two wide and then we'll go all the way to the back but we have a problem here yeah we'd have one window that isn't the right size so maybe we push the build back one more block not a problem at all but yeah because that would drive me crazy i don't think i really want some weird gaps so yeah we'll push the build back one more block and things will be good we'll have a bunch of windows on the side in fact uh, that'll be four windows and the cows will be happy because there'll be at least a little bit of light inside of their their forever home hey yeah <laughs> i feel evil i feel a little evil today sorry all right so for the windows we're looking at something that looks like this i think this will be pretty fancy and fit the build really really nicely i definitely i definitely gotta have my arches for sure so maybe we'll add another arch in the front like that for the front door maybe i i don't know i definitely need to terraform the land out here and make this less steep but yeah maybe something like that the side windows though those are going to be a definite go for sure i love how this looks okay so that leaves us with the roof now this is meant to be a barn so that means we need a barn shaped roof here otherwise it'll look a less like a barn <laughs> which i guess isn't a problem but i definitely want a barn for sure so i think if we were to do a shape that looks like this uh but on both sides copied over we should have something good like like that that's definitely a barn right and and then the roof will hang down on the sides a little bit so it'll kind of block these windows but i have a feeling eventually we'll terraform this land down so then we can actually see the windows again maybe I, i'm not too sure but yeah that's what i'm thinking for the shape now along the edges i'd like to do cobblestone to line things in the center i'm planning on doing birch and i actually have a, a trick but first i should probably get the rest of the rest of the sides in then i'll show you the trick Oh, and I need to start harvesting the wool on this guy because we can finally actually finish uh, at least the outside of our house and get the wool in. The andesite can go away. The andesite, it looks weird on, on that build and it needs to turn to white wool. So I'm going to try and remember to do that while I finish this build up too. All right, so here's the roof trick. This trick will transform any roof that you do it on into something that looks really, really cool and is actually pretty cheap. All you'll need to have is a little bit of extra stair or slab variants of whatever block you're working with. So uh, normally we would do our roof like this, right? We would just kind of fill in the center, maybe with stairs or blocks or whatever, just like what we did on that house. But uh, you can make this look a whole lot more, more cool and sweet and detailed by putting random slabs and actually digging out some of the other blocks and placing slabs down low and then filling the roof in behind it because that'll add way more depth and variation onto the build. Now we only have a small section done, but take a look at what we have. That's what we're going for, a bunch of varying height levels on the roof. It'll make it look really, really cool, but it's one of those things that you kind of definitely have to see the final product on to really get the vision. So uh, if you don't like it, don't sell it off quite yet. Just, just trust me, it, it does look cool. Now, on this build, and I think on this side of the build, the other one, I'd like to do something fancy on the roof as well. So I think right in front of here, we'll do slabs, and then down in here, we'll actually place some temporary blocks and then place some logs because I'd like to have some sort of opening on the roof, right? To, to almost make it look like there's an attic on this build. So if we place some logs and strip them like I just did, then place some staircases on top of those logs like that and then right there like that and then we'll have them curve over we could actually put a separate roof line on here and then basically build it into the other roof which is definitely the plan i think that would add a lot more detail to the build so i'm gonna try and mess around with something here and get that happening i'm not too sure how i'm really gonna do it i know i'll use slabs and then probably solid blocks back here to go into the building but 
yeah i think that would add a lot more detail to the build we might add an attic on it but i'm i'm not too sure but yeah adding something like this i think that'll make the barn look way way more cool so we're gonna go for it all right so here we go that is the final roof i'm pretty happy with it i think it looks good i could have used staircases in there too but kind of still a little low on wood i have been farming this stuff but yeah i just don't have a lot and staircases are expensive also i uh, i definitely don't want to over detail the roof and i feel like this is almost getting to a point of over detailing so we're gonna stop there with that now the rest of the build so the front i i think the front is gonna be really easy this time we'll run this beam up all the way to the roof and then this can i think pretty much just go right across the thing i might have to make some yeah i'll have to make some slight adjustments to the roof but something like that i i think would would probably be good unless i wanted to lower it one block that could work too but yeah i'm kind of leaning towards doing this then we'll fill that in with oak planks and then we definitely need something over the door to break things up maybe like like an arch in here that could look cool oh and we could actually probably get some arching done there like that maybe yeah yeah definitely that's definitely the way to go but what if we added say um what if we added like an arch and cobblestone usually i like to do this stuff with spruce but we still kind of don't have spruce so what does that look like that doesn't look bad it's not terrible maybe we could take some walls and make it better by going and adding like a support on either side of the door that could look cool maybe maybe yeah w why not i think that looks pretty cool for now yeah we'll go with that oh hey uh hi uh guys hey uh what you doing and my 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 land uh right before night time two okay well what we're gonna do is get rid of you you're the really bad one and uh, we got the effect but we have a milk bucket so if you happen to get the bad omen effect grab a milk bucket drink the thing and the effect is gone now we need to sleep quick because uh those guys they would have stopped me from getting into the bed now this situation this is a thing it feels like i just dealt with this like right at the end of the last episode you guys what are you doing what are you up to we, we definitely ow need to make some armor that is not good that is uh, <laughs> bad uh we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna breathe not today guys it's come on you, you hear it's my big day come on uh, don't, don't do this today it's it's a bad day for this so i guess here we are it's definitely time for a set of iron armor because i haven't gotten around to that yet so we're gonna smelt that iron up and in the meantime we'll start with a helmet we'll, we'll grab some leggings and then we wait for the rest of the suit but we'll, we'll put this stuff on looking pretty good but uh, we definitely need a little bit more hold on you guys no no no, no. i'm not done i'm not done with you guys i will definitely be, be taking care of you guys you aren't going to just walk out of my land and walk away free it's just gonna be a little bit of a long battle uh, that's the thing all right so we got some boots now very cool nice and you guys i think i can probably take care of them now there's like two or three left maybe uh i guess there was three you you gotta go away man you're really disrupting the episode <laughs> All right, so we have this archway in front of the door. That looks cool. Then on the sides of the build in here, I think I like to do fences, but only on the first layer. We don't need full windows in the build because it's a barn. And I think leaving this build open would look pretty good. So fences in there. Now the back wall, I'm not too sure. I'm thinking that we'll probably just go ahead and fill it in completely because I don't know. I don't know if we really want a window back here to look at the bad neighbors. So... Yeah, we'll, we'll just go with the solid wall for now and maybe, or you know what, hold on. No, we're not going to do that. <laughs> I've got a different idea already. Instead of just a solid back wall, let's do two long windows. I think that would look good. Yeah, that definitely looks good behind all of this. Now, the top part of the barn. So, we're kind of cramped on space. I honestly thought we would have more space. Uh, I'd like to come back in with some oak logs. I need to farm more, though, and run beams going right across the top of this thing, and then probably do cobblestone in between the beams just to fill everything in. I guess we'll pass on an upper part of the barn, at least for now. Maybe we can come back and modify it later, but yeah, it's just going to have to have to be skipped i think we could definitely add a little bit uh detail in here 
Oh, I've got slabs. Okay, I'm going to climb up there and remove the slabs and put fences there. Oh, and I did this fancy thing on the roof. Eventually, I'm planning on hanging lanterns on these parts. But I think that's pretty much everything. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up the build, get a little bit of terraforming in. Oh, and I plan on uh, planting a bunch of wheat in here too. So this is going to get all turned to farmland, and I'll probably end up hiding water under the sides of this thing. That would be probably a really good spot for something like that. So, wish me luck. Hopefully no more pillagers decide to spawn. Um, yeah, that would definitely be nice. And I should probably harvest the wheat field too, but we'll see. Um, so, maybe, but wish me luck. I'll probably be right back. And here we are, the final build. So I think this thing turned out pretty nicely. I'm really, really happy with the inside. I think it looks so, so nice. But I kind of forgot something. I never talked about how to use this thing. So to use this, you'll need some wheat. And jump on top of it, move your mouse in a semicircle, and basically just feed all of the cows inside of this thing. Eventually, there's going to be a bunch of cows inside of it. And when that happens, when you breed all of the cows, the baby cows will be born and the adult cows will uh, commit a game over and then send uh, their their remains I guess into this chest right here for you to do whatever you'd like with um, with them now while I was working on this I also went ahead and harvested the field fully and it's already been growing quite a bit right here is a full harvest a, a other than the seeds that I used to replant the seeds filled up probably to about this row here like somewhere in that row and yeah pretty crazy a lot of wheat and uh, the field isn't even done and it's technically already ready again which is really really good now the final thing that i like to do on this build is pile a bunch of hay in the back of it because i think that would look really really cool so i'm thinking yeah just like piles and piles of this stuff back here to really, uh, you know, give it the barn feel. I I think that would be really cool. Um, let's see, what do we think? Oh, yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Um, but uh, maybe we put one there. And yeah, yeah, I think that's good. We could probably actually even start adding hay bales outside of the build, and that would look pretty good too. Now, the fence thing that I was going to do, I decided to skip that. I put black wool in here. I dyed some of the white wool from the sheep, and I think that looks a little bit better because there's nothing in the top of the build anyway, so why would we really want to see into it? It makes it look like it's like some kind of dark room. But I think that's pretty much everything for today's episode other than a chest plate. I still definitely have to make one of those things, but... There you go. That is about the best cow farm in the game, and I think a pretty decent looking barn as well. If you guys like the video, remember, drop a like and subscribe, and patrons always get these episodes early. Now, there's going to be a stream from this world again this Thursday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time, the day after Christmas, so keep your eyes out for that. It'll be really fun. I think we're going to do some caving. But thank you all so much for watching today's episode of the Minecraft Guide. My name is Waddles. I will see you next time. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Goodbye, everyone. Go have a good day.